you at, from Adelaide you moved to Sydney, mm. which was where obviously more work was for yeah. you. But yeah. during that time of trying to find work, you were working retail. And a yes. lot of your friends did graduate from uni and went on to be lawyers or other... And had proper jobs. Have and proper I was jobs. still working at David Jones. Yeah, right. Did I did, You know, I didn't mind... Um, which I think, you know when you said what, what, why do some people succeed and why? And the perseverance thing I think is, it's a big factor because it's, it's a long, hard road and you, I think I just, I was never, um, I knew that I wanted to be an actor, yeah. but I wasn't, not, not that I wasn't desperate for it, but it, there was no kind of time limit. I didn't have to do it now. Okay. I just knew that you know, it was going to unfold and, and it would happen and I'd get a job and, and I quite enjoyed living in Sydney and I was, I didn't mind working in retail and I'd get, I was lucky enough to get commercials and get things so I felt like I was working towards my goal. Right. Um, but I, yeah, I met a lot of actors that it would just, they were having a terrible time because they were just so desperate for it yeah. and this and this, putting time things on something yeah, and this isn't in amazing your sense of urgency which yeah. I don't think yeah which is it's not a fun journey then no mm. did you have times though when during that time where you weren't in consistent work where you thought what oh, am I doing yeah I was I, so many um especially when my friends you know just got this amazing job at a law firm and they're they're all earning real money and yeah. I'm still on the bones of my ass yeah. having to work on a Saturday. At, although uh, it's funny because I look back now and maybe you forget all the bad stuff and those days when it was horrible. But yeah. I quite liked, I, did, I enjoyed working in retail. Yeah, but yeah. It, it was, I was in my early 20s. I was always dressed really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked <laughs> retail get, too. And the discounts yeah. were good. Amazing. Yeah. I spend all my money on shoes. Yeah, I know. That was the but, worst thing about yeah. working in retail as soon as you get And because you had to look good all the time. Yeah. You had to wear all the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but no, I, I kind of enjoyed it. And I also think it, it was healthy because I worked hard. Yeah. And then when I did get a job, I really appreciated yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and it felt like, um, yeah, it was... It, yeah, it just felt like it was all worth it, and and I appreciated being there and being on set, and um, yeah, as opposed to maybe going straight into an amazing role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And never having to. Or going sweat it straight out into an amazing role, but then nothing after that would be scary. Yeah, it would be yeah. worse, I would think. You yeah, because you you were always back at square one. Even now, I've finished shooting, um, and I've got to a stage where I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing, and. Um, but yeah, and then and then the show finishes, and and now I'm like, back to square one. Yeah. Even though I'm not, it still feels that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And in terms of, um, you know, you, when you do act, you can make great money when you've got that regular income. But mm. then you do have the downtime. Yeah, which is like, I guess it's like any freelancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of makeup artists that I talk to and have worked with, it's the same kind of thing. Yeah. But. But it's weird because as an actor, you don't feel like you actually have any skills. So no. when I'm not working, w when I am working, I feel really confident, know what I'm doing, um, really productive and motivated. And yeah. then as soon as I finish a job, suddenly I'm like, I don't have any skills. I know. I'm like I that know all the time. And you think, I've, <gasps> I've forgotten how to act. Yeah. Someone's going to have to do something <laughs> and I, I don't know how to do it anymore. Or like, if, it, oh, if, this, if I don't keep getting work, what am I going to do? I can't go, I don't yeah. have any skills to do anything. I should have done something different at uni. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. an arts degree. What does that get me? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I have no, I have no practical skills. Yeah. Can't make anything. I know, I know. I'm exactly the uh. same. So when you in turn, you would have to be quite good with your money to go. All right, this is good. This is coming in. But in if theory, there's a downtime, yes. yes. <laughs> I I don't know how I have stayed clothed and fed. I must admit, the commercials really helped because they big lump sums of money and they kind of helped me. You know, because I would still have a part-time job, and then I'd get an ad, which is like, you know, nine grand in one go. Right. Um, and then that would be my little kind of, yeah, your little savings yeah. thing.